and elevate your mind. We came to rock the spot. Rock the spot. Hey, here's a good example of some people that are capitalizing off of attention given by famous a famous person. Boosie on IG used to do this thing where he would uh you know have girls, you know what I'm saying? He uh he'll have girls get on there and show their titties or whatever or twerk or whatever or show their pussy or whatever the fuck it is. Whatever did he felt like they were actually girls getting on there doing the things that he was asking. And this nigga was not even paying them girls to do the shit. He was just like, get on here and show pussy. Get on here and show titty. Bro, I went on one of his nigga, I went on one of his lives. Girl, whole, girl got her whole ass out twerking and clapping and I ain't gonna lie, that shit was fat. I'm glad, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I'm up here alone. Uh, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, her shit was clapping, she was all sorts of shit oiled up. This nigga Boozy having a great time just, just sit, sitting there looking all thuggish and shit, just looking like, yeah, yeah. All right, now turn around and slap it. That's what the bitch did. Turn around and slap her ass. Like, did this shit strictly for attention. It's not like she just, oh, I just do this all the fucking time. No, a famous person is putting you on the spot and giving you attention and you took it. And it doesn't matter what he tells you to do. You'll do it just so you think that that famous person is going to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to hit you up after this. No, they're not, bro. They're not. (laughs) They're fucking not. You think, do you, do, do, do you, like, you niggas really think Wale fucking just talks to me now after me and him had that one conversation on Twitter? Like, nah, bro, we don't fucking talk like that. That nigga, that nigga, that I nigga lied about you. that. That nigga, nah, he blocked me for a quick second and I, I, I've i seen his shit afterwards. He, he unblocked me after that, but, um, and then I, got I, guess, I guess I ain't got to block him over. I know. Right? <laughs> I mean, shit. I, yeah, shit. He lied about the situation anyways. Shit. I talked to the fucking uh, the Lyft driver and fucking he really he confirmed <laughs> the shit to me and he showed me the fucking he literally showed me the fucking picture that they took together. So not only not only is Wally a fucking a crybaby, he's a liar, too. So um, let that shit be known. He definitely but, not uh, in, the, um, in the Mount Rushmore conversation. Oh, fuck. No. I'm not putting fuck. Wale that high. Which leads into the next thing that we were going to talk about. On Twitter, they've been showing some shit about who would you put in the fourth spot for Mount Rushmore as the greatest rapper of the 2010s decade. They had Kendrick Lamar, Cole, and Drake. Everybody asking who the fourth person. I'm seeing niggas say Big Sean and Wale, and I'm just like, oh, no. (laughs) Nigga, (laughs) even (laughs) like five, five years from now, in like 2026, 2027, whatever, Looking back the last decade and people, even somebody who was just getting into hip hop, if they would have asked me, like, who would you say is the top four, like the biggest or the most successful artist, most impactful, whatever of that decade from 2010 to 2019, I'm not fucking naming Wale. I don't think anybody is. And if you are, you, anybody who says Wale are incredibly biased and they're just a big Wale fan, you know, then well, he's not no top four. And the, hell no, not Big Sean. Like we, we, you already know how I feel about him. <laughs> like, come, come on, now. <laughs> Mister, Mister, Mister Carpool, Mister Carpool, Mister, Mister Up and Coming. If they went in the car, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but that art, I fucking that this art man. Tri- this this nigga said I got more nightstands than an art man. That shit was horrible. Art man. <laughs> But I, 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 I premised that, that, that in the video. I, I legitimately heard that shit. So there is no way this guy can be this fucking bad. That's so fucking. That's sad as shit too. And he and he repped Detroit too. So it's like, damn, you really expect all the fucking <laughs> we don't other rep Detroit niggas to sound like this now? <laughs> oh, we don't rep shit. that nigga. Nah, hell, we we show as fuck don't rep him. Hell, it can't nah, be Detroit, Michigan. Step top, <laughs> there, must be, there must be some other Detroit. He talking about Detroit, Texas, nigga. Fucking <laughs> Detroit, Tennessee, or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking um but my answer to minute. whoever would be the fourth person on the Mount Rushmore I would have to say Nicki Minaj and I truthfully think the reason why a lot of people wasn't naming Nicki when that tweet first came out was trending is because truth be told people don't think about female rappers when they first see that question <laughs> when you see that question in itself who's the like who's the top four rappers of this the last decade a female rapper does not come to my off rip I think I think that's what it is. Like, I, in my honest opinion, the answer is like obviously Nikki. Like, ain't nobody gonna tell me that Nikki and Drake did not run 
like last decade together, which shows Lil Wayne's greatness because they both came from under him. But with Drake and Nicki, I really, especially because the picture itself already had three three guys on it and Kendrick, Cole, and Drake. Like, people don't think about female rappers when they see that question. Shit, I mean, what <laughs> from 2010, what other females? I mean, okay. There are so no other females. Like, Nicki is the only correct answer, really. But it's like, <laughs> I, even we, then. Yeah, like, we <laughs> had this conversation. Yeah, we had this conversation a little before we started this, uh, or we texted about it. Uh, I had mentioned Cardi B and my uh, my options. The mm-hmm. only now, the only reason why I mentioned Cardi B now, I didn't pick Cardi B, but she is a strong consideration. If you were not to put Nicki Minaj, um, if you were to put now, let's be real here. If we were doing the same thing for just strictly female rappers, and we were doing a Mount Rushmore for one hundred percent females up there. Oh yeah. You gotta go Nikki. You gotta go Cardi. Shit. Oh man. You gotta go. Uh, I'm starting to think Megan. Go, I, bro, my rap- nigga, I cannot think of no female rappers from 2010. I like 20- swear. <laughs> 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 nigga, I, yo, you know who the first fucking girl I just thought of, bro? Mm. I, I really I really stopped myself and said, damn, hey, no bitches out there. <laughs> Biggie is <alien. laughs> I said, there ain't really no fucking women out there. <laughs> if, it gets in that, if it gets in that conversation, female rap is down super bad, bro. They, they really down, down super bad. bad, bro. You have to. So, uh, god damn, that's a fu- <laughs> that's a that's a fair fucking question to ask, bro. From twenty ten to like twenty fifteen, it ain't nobody else to name. Bro, Nikki's first real competition was like fucking Iggy in two thousand like twelve. Or 13. Even that, that was a real bro. competition. <laughs> that was just somebody yeah, else that entered the, that was just somebody else that entered the league. I wouldn't call that competition. Shit. I I guess she had a fucking I mean she got a number one. She got a number one from the uh from 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 it all. So uh yeah. And really you could you could I mean she got a number one before Nikki. So that was that was direct competition at the time. At the time of fancy dropping, she was competition. But after that, like after her, she started doing other shit. Like, nah, her career really, yeah, her with career that, took a. With that being said, though, Cardi is a good, um, is a good pick. But that's the thing, she's Cardi's a good pick if we're talking about just female rappers. If we're talking about overall, like, come on, now. like if somebody literally came to you and said they consider Cardi B a top four, like a uh, rapper of the whole last decade, you would be like, bro, no. <laughs> like, if the female rappers, yes, but overall, all the fucking rappers from that last decade, Cardi ain't no fucking top four. She's the, yeah. she's the second biggest female rapper behind Nicki, but that's the thing. That's It's such a huge gap with all the male rappers, if you include them in there. I'm about to say something wild. In a couple years, if Cardi keeps up what she's doing, she will overtake Nicki Minaj. In terms of what? In terms of greatness. In terms of greatness, I, I, I'm 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 gonna be on that controversial tip. I'm all I always say one fucking crazy thing in these podcasts. This is the one. Let me tell you why. As a matter of fact, hold on, wait. Before I even get into that, there's a couple things I need to answer right now. My my fourth person, the other fucking two on this female fucking Mount Rushmore, because I swear to God. If we put Nikki Azalea here, we really, <laughs> have fed, we really have ignored the fucking women last decade for 10 fucking years. Seriously. That, that's actually kind of sad if you think about it. It's incredibly Car- sad. That's what I'm saying. We, that's something we always say, bro. Nikki most no, definitely not, dominated like half the decade, but it was nobody else for her to go against. Yeah, bro. It's not It's not even uh, the Iggy Azalea one I'm talking about. It's that the first fucking like the Nikki is an obvious like oh yeah she's the first woman you think of period but it's sad that the second person you think of was somebody who blew up after half the decade was over a one year after half the decade was over mm-hmm. that's in 16 you got her coming out in 2016 taking over in 2017 I legitimately believe that this fucking Mount Rush this Mount Rushmore four if we're talking about female rappers if we are being real with ourselves here, it is looking like Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, 
fucking Megan at this damn point since she's blew up and, you know, become pretty much a little bit bigger. That fucking fourth one is a toss up, okay? You don't want to put your homegirl Remy Ma in there? Hell, what the fuck? She's not even in the top f- fucking four for her 2000. That's really where <laughs> she came from. That's like putting fucking, that's like, that's like, I ain't even gonna say that. that I, uh, every time I bring up an off score basketball player, that just makes the episode, bro. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> that's like, that's, you're talking about the best fucking centers of all time. <laughs> You got you got like fucking Kareem Abdul Jabbar one. You got Hakeem two or Wilt two. You got Bill Russell three. You got Hakeem four. You got you got fucking Shaq five. You got fucking uh what's the name six um um what's what's it what's what's his uh Dwight six. Oh shit, we going all the way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's getting a little worse. We got Jermaine O'Neal at like eight. Oh damn, nine. We got fucking uh Rick Smith. 10. We got oh shit. Is that Sean fucking Bradley? Oh damn. 11. Jerome James. What the fuck is this? Like Number, number 12, Kenneth Reed. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth Reed. <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucking fucking if you really casuals. If you really casuals. Fucking 13 would be hot swing jaw or some shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> fucking, wait a minute. <laughs> I got a good one, bro. <laughs> Number 14, fucking Krylo Fasenko. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I, had to bring it back. I had to bring it back on, y'all. <laughs> oh, shit. Nigga, Alexis Ajinka in that bitch. 15, I got Dezana Jop from the fucking <laughs> the Bobcat. <laughs> Joel Briz Miller for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> God damn, nigga. That nigga said Priz right there. <laughs> that nigga said Priz fucking Villa, nigga. That yo, that was the man on the Trailblazers. But uh, my nigga, my nigga Cartier Glory about to go crazy. We hear this part of the episode. <laughs> Cardi right. Gray is one that was like, you know, y'all niggas always name obscure basketball players. <laughs> like, that's like my highlight. It, it, it's every fucking podcast, bro. Every podcast. We when I say always one. Pain, that nigga was like, but y'all wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But what the fuck was we talking about <laughs> before we even got to that? We got to think. Oh, shit. Yo, yeah, you, was naming, the um, you was naming the Mount Rushmore for female rappers. And I was saying, yeah, why not? Why not Remy Ma? Uh, Remy Ma had one year. Her and Nicki Minaj went back and forth. I can't give her that just simply due to the fact that there's other women that have been not only relevant for longer, but have done a little more for longer. Remy Ma really had that one year where she was uh, known as the best female rapper, and it was the same year that her and Nicki were beefing, and a couple years in the 2000s decade, so... um. I can't give it to her. Like, in the 2000s, yeah, she would be a consideration. But in the 2010s, no, they're just, you know what I'm saying? Um, Megan would be over Remy. But if we're being real here, um, whatever, I, if I could find out what the direct genre Doja Cat would be, I could put her there. Um, it, it, it seems kind of weird considering she's so new. But it's like, who else? who the fuck else could you put? Because you got to put someone that's been popular and that's been kind of a mogul for your genre. So that's really where Doja Cat comes into the, the mix because she keeps getting nominated for a rap awards and shit like that. So I don't know. If you wanna, y'all want to call her a rapper or whatever, I, I think she's an R&B artist. I used to think she was a rapper. There's going to be some people like, culture, weren't you a bitch and talking about some, oh, is it? I thought she was a f- uh, yeah no I did I, I listen over and over and she's she's definitely a fucking R and B artist. 